welcome to website designing class um, you can use bibli.com to build your free website uh, bibli is a professional website builder by uh, which use drag and drop concept very easy to build your own website and quickly you can publish your website and also access to it and you can immediately edit your website as you want okay first of all you have to sign up uh, an account using your valid email address Upon completion of sign up, you may straight away go to uh, option which which is uh, I just need a website or I just or I need a website with an online store. So it's up to you which one you want to go for, and you may choose a theme that you are uh, that you prefer. Then you can edit back when you change your mindset to any other new themes okay first of all uh, you can go for the business themes for instance I choose this theme okay. by default you will you will have uh, four menus which is home menu local and contact and you may edit Afterwards, and also you can choose uh, some other options uh, such as sub menus, drag and drop uh, text, drag and drop title, and so on. Okay, let's start edit. So you may ignore this. If you do have own domain name, you can connect to your own domain such as www.aaa.com. So you can connect to this account or you may leave it as it is. So I cancel this one. Okay. So there are only little function you have to handle in this uh, Wibbly free web builder. Okay, one by one. So this is a build function. Build function, um, you can choose your title, text. You can edit your image. Okay, you can put, you can drag and drop your image, and also you can um, create your own gallery as well as slideshow. So whatever contents, whatever elements you want to add in your web page, you may choose from here or drag and drop from here to this region okay apart from this hd video which with uh, you know a mark symbol okay this is you have to pay for it if you if you do upgrade then you can use this function otherwise you may skip this function apart from that you can use the spacer spacer and divider button social icons product product is to Create your product page. If you have, uh, let's say, uh, you are selling a, a few type of product, so you can choose this option, and you can create your product gallery, and you can make it like a uh, online shopping gallery. Okay? okay, and also the categories, and you can click the show all elements as well, which is map. You can in integrate the map uh, by adding your address, and also you can use the embed code. Okay, 
Emmet code, uh, for instance, you can get the code from the Facebook, then you can put in the embed code. So your Facebook will pop up in the embed code. Okay, I mean in the region. Okay. Then search box, this is you have to pay. And block code, newsletter form, contact form, RSV, PP form, survey, you can do also. Even you can choose the YouTube function. You can integrate your YouTube videos into this, uh, your own website. Okay audio and also you can include the files for a, for example your cv you can include your cv in your personal website and also you can include any file and also you can include the script document and google adsense if you do have a google adsense account you can include in your website as well and also cookies a cookie opt out and also flash okay apart from that you also can put some additional elements by using the apps which has been integrated into this system okay for instance for, for example you can add apps and not all the apps are free you have to pay some of the apps not very expensive you may pay if you want Okay, for example, free one, you don't need to pay anything, but premium one, certain function, you can get it free. And if you want to add more function, you have to pay for it. Okay, you can choose also free uh, apps. For example, there are some popular apps, which is free as well. Like, like Facebook, like accordion, scroll back to top, text animation, and so on. If you want to choose only free, you can click here. So you may choose all the free apps for your website. Okay. So actually apps, it's to add more elements in your website. It's not like uh, your handphone apps. Okay. okay, so you can load more. If you want to add, you just click and you can add it in your website. Okay, so you may close this one. This is called build page. So you can now by default you will have home, menu, local, and contact. You may add more as a page or sub page, or even you can put the non clickable page. Okay, I will cover that, uh, that particular element after this. And also you can choose the theme. For instance, if you don't like this theme you may choose different theme by clicking at change theme and it will go back to the original or default theme files okay so you may choose here okay for example if i choose this one so i can go for it online store So I can go for it. If I choose business, I can go for it. Okay, I choose. Then I choose theme. If you don't, uh, if you don't want to choose theme directly, you can preview theme first before you choose that. Choose theme. It will change immediately everything. Your interface. Your layouts, everything will change immediately. Okay. So, apps, similar thing. So, the last option is setting. So, setting is uh, you may configure your setting before you publish your website so over in this setting you can see there are six functions so you can click seo if you know how to put the site description footer code okay you even you can connect to the google analytics and also google 
webmaster tool. This is for CEO, SEO. And you may add editors. You may add editors like your friends as an editor for your website. And also you can create a member site for your website. So same thing, my apps, there is no any apps added here. So once you add apps from the apps function, then you can see over here apps and also you can create a block by using Wibbly. Okay, so let us go for editing the website. So click the build. So before that you have to create a pages. So home, this is your home page. Okay, so you can edit after this. Then if you don't want the longer of bigger header you can put no header for your home page so there is no header if you want splash you can put the splash okay you may go back to header as well So visibility, if you don't want to make it public or you want to put password for your web page, you can put the password or you can choose this option, member or groups. Okay, normally we will ignore this one. Cancel, okay. Make it public. And SEO setting. You may choose the page title. Let's say if you want to put home, you can put home. Okay. And you can put the description. This website. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. You can write whatever you want to write. And also you can put the keyword. These functions are for SEO purpose. Search engine optimization purpose. You can put the header code, footer code, meta keywords and so on. Okay. Even you can hide this one from the search engine. Okay, normally do not hide uh, this page from search engine. Okay, you can put whatever you want. Okay, then back. Similarly, go to the menu. So this is a menu page. So there are some function over here you can put for your business page. So if you want to, let's say you want to delete the local, you can delete this one. Okay, let's say you want to add, uh, there are some options here. Okay, you can go for the standard page, block page. You can write a block, category page as well. Okay, category page to showcase your product as well. Okay. And product page is showcase one of your product. And, and also you can click to, you can choose the external page. External page means, for example, uh, you can create a menu. When you click, it will move to or it will go to another website which is not belongs to you. Okay. And non-clickable menu is, you create a menu like this. Okay. But it's going to be non-clickable. It means when you click, nothing will happen. So under this menu, you will add some other or some sub-menus. For example, under the product, maybe you will have a product one, product two, product three. Okay. So if let's say you want to add, you may add the standard page. Maybe you want to put our team. Okay, done. Then you can play, you can move this one freely. So once you click here, okay, you click and drag and drop. Okay, you can rearrange the order of the web page. So you can see the order home, menu, our team, and contact. So if let's say this menu you don't want, you can click delete and you can delete it. 
and also you can come up with the non-clickable menu then you can put product our products then you can put our products like this so our product is a non-clickable menu so under this one you may add some other menus as well for example you add standard page product let's say food okay you can put food and you want to add one more drinks or beverages okay drinks okay let's say drinks okay, then you can put this one under the our product you can drag and drop under like this okay okay so when i go to the our product you can see the drinks and food if you move like this so our product under our product there will be a drink under drink there will be a food for example like this okay so we do one like that so back to normal okay so you can put whatever you want okay you can add as many page as you want okay if let's say if you want to go for product page so you can add product to store okay for example like this let's say your product is a digital product you can put digital donation membership whatever is it okay let's say uh, your product is a physical product okay burger let's say burger okay you can put let's say two ringgit and you can describe over here okay and also you can visible hidden and unavailable and you can put your picture over here okay let's say we go and search burger picture okay burger image so another big image so we can save in our folder okay then we can click and we can import the file so you can add more pic more pictures as well okay okay then if you want to if you want to use full function you have to pay upgrade your package okay, okay you can option and option and pricing if you don't want to change okay you can put it like that then save So I added it here, okay, in our product. So wherever you want to add, you can add like this, okay. If let's say you want to add here in the drink page, okay, you can add here also, okay. Let's say product page. So it's going to be like this. Okay, product page is here. Okay. Okay. If I want to put, I can put here as well. Okay. This is a how you organize the pages. Okay. So if you don't want, you can delete it. Okay. You may choose other functions as well. For example, if let's say you want to go for the external page. Okay, what is the external page? External page is like, uh, let's say you want to click to, uh, 
any company okay let's say you want to connect to uh, Pepsi okay you can put like this click Pepsi and you put the Pepsi website okay copy link then you can put it here and you can choose the open link in new tab okay so don't hide from search engine so that is called this one okay so we'll have a Pepsi so once you click it will move to it will go to Pepsi website okay how to edit our website okay okay let's say home so you can edit okay let's say you can edit here just click and edit welcome to our restaurant so you can choose you can make it big or you can bold you can change the color whatever is it you can change you want to change it to a white color also can whatever color okay. choose all then you can choose or you want to make it center also can okay. so this is how you edit the page and also you can edit this one okay or you want to delete you want to put logo you can choose logo and upload the logo and if you don't want just off it okay so there will be a some fun some some contents here so you may edit it for example if you don't want you can delete this one or you can edit the image or you can replace the image then you can upload your own image or you can use the image url Okay, let's say you want to choose burger, you can um, oh, so you have to not searching, so you have to um, put the URL. Okay, then you can insert the image for example. Let's say you are looking for a burger. This is a link okay you can copy link address and you can put it here so once you oops oops so you may choose other options as well search okay oh, sorry okay bugger let's say search bug so you can choose select so it will replace the existing image so i think then you can have a signature burger okay. if you don't want you can delete this one these functions and also you can delete layouts each layouts okay each component you can delete delete You can delete one by one. Okay, how about that? Okay. So to add more elements, so you can you have to choose the build, then you can choose title. Let's say just click title and drag and drop. So the blue color line indicate the location, the region. Okay. So you just release your. Oh, okay. Then you can edit back. If you don't want, you can delete whatever you want, or you can then you can edit back this one. Oops. So you can put the text as well 
okay under this one or you want to put in the left side so if you want under so you have to choose the line underline like this okay then you release then you can type whatever is it okay then you can type whatever you want okay then also you can put the image okay as usual you can drag and drop the image wherever you want then you can put the image then you can upload the image as well or you can search like this okay so if you don't want you can delete this one same goes to slideshow spacer is to create a space in between the elements so if you create a space so it will create certain space so make a better website and also you can use the divider divider divide the two elements okay or you can do like this similar function to uh, spacer but this one is actually uh, divide the two elements okay and also you can put the buttons over here wherever you want you can choose the button okay like this if you don't want you can delete that and also you can uh, add the social icons which is your know, facebook okay you can connect to facebook your twitter and all of your social media pages okay, release it so then you can click then manage icons then you can click one by one then you can put your facebook address over here and also your instagram linkedin email and so on if you want to put more then you can activate the whatever inactive for example pinterest so you can click show okay then it will come out here okay even you can reorder so reorder you can reorder it so okay then done so everything reordered okay so that is social icon and also product product page is you can drag and drop your product like this drag and drop then you can add products for example uncategorized burger or you want to add some more you can put okay you can include here yeah. okay cancel oh, oh my god cancel yes okay and also you can include the maps uh, maps you can include in your contact and so on black code newsletter form contact form and also you can include your youtube okay let's say you have a youtube then you can include your youtube here okay and this is very big so if you want to make it smaller you can put more youtube to make it smaller so okay like this okay so what i have to do is let's say you have a youtube channel so you can copy this address then you can click double click the page and if you want to add a youtube video to your site all you need is the address of that video so you can find this at okay see they already added okay it has been already added then you can add more uh, videos from here let's say i want to more add more videos so maybe i can click this one then i can add more videos over here paste that's it so your videos will be here same thing when you want to upload the file you can upload the file okay let's say you want to upload any file so you create then click and upload a file 
okay whatever file you can upload over here okay it can be a pdf or word okay even powerpoint also can no problem okay let's say i update this one okay so it's going to be here game let's say I upload this one okay So two, one is document, another one is uh, PDF. So if I do one, I can delete this one. Each element, every element you can delete. After you edit. Okay. So you can put the, you can include the Google AdSense, Flash, Cookie, opt out. Okay. Then we can go for the our product. So you can use the similar option, similar elements like a title, uh, text, and image in every single page that you have. Okay. So let's say I go to contact. So I want to add a form, Google, uh, any form. Okay, let's say I want to put the contact form, I can put contact form. Okay, I can put contact form, then I can, okay, contact us. Okay, then I can choose the form option. Then you can configure the email address that you prefer. So when anyone send message through this form, it will directly move to this email okay it will be sent to this email okay okay save let's say you want to add more functions such as um, map you can use the maps as well. So this is a map, then you can click back. So you can choose your own location. Let's say I'm looking for University Uttara Malaysia. Okay, so then it will directly go to University Uttara Malaysia. Okay, then I can click somewhere so it's already okay okay so this is how we edit the web contents okay so if you want to customize your footer footer is here the, the down part okay the bottom part so you have to pay for it Okay, otherwise you ignore that. Okay. Okay, let's say we add a new page. Okay. I want to add, uh, let's say, okay. Uh, maybe you can add a new page over here. Or if you, if you don't want, you can skip it. Then you go build. And you click. Sorry. Anything. So I click uh, our team. Okay. Sometimes you don't need to add elements from the individual elements. 
you can build the default elements okay you can click and you can add layouts already added in the system okay click add layout then you can choose the team for example so which one you want so you can choose okay for example let's say i choose this one then it will be added save so automatically so you can save your time in terms of designing the uh, space drag the title drag the tags image and so on then after that you can edit back this one for example let's say i want to replace the image Oops, it's not appear. Okay, never mind. We can choose, we can search here. Okay. So I can choose whatever picture that I want. I can save it here in the desktop. Then I can replace the image. I can choose the image that I saved. Okay. Again, Whatever picture, okay. For example, let's say you choose this picture, okay. So it will replace by new picture, okay. So once you add, it will replace the picture, then you can edit there everything. Okay. So once you complete all of your pages, okay, you add the contents accordingly by using the elements. Okay. Then you can choose other options like a theme, apps, and setting. Okay, let's say we go to the theme. If we want to change the theme, you still can change. Okay. Or you can change, make your theme to dark existing theme. You can make it dark theme. So you can choose dark. Okay, so it's going to be like a dark theme. Okay, and you can choose the theme options. Okay, full gradient, contrast, navigation, and so on. Okay, and also you can add the apps. Okay, for example, the free apps. The free apps, for example, you want to put uh, tabs. So double click that one, then you add. Done. So this tab you can use in any page. For example, let's say you want to put in drinks. You click drinks. So your page okay, going to be uh, empty. Then you can put tabs here. You drag and drop tabs. So you can put tabs like this. Okay. 
so if you want more tabs you can put five tabs okay then you can put okay orange you can put here grape okay apple okay carrot pineapple okay, you can put like this okay then you can choose orange then under the orange tab you can add elements if you want to add elements for example you can add the elements so orange juice fresh orange juice so if you want to put an image also can you can put image like this then you can go and search so you can put like this okay so if you go to grab nothing okay grape if you go to grip so nothing will appear so you have to add image add tags and so on okay. so after you have complete your page then you go to setting setting and change your address uh, you can change your address okay, for example you can change if you want to connect your own domain address otherwise Skip it. Okay, site title. My first home page. Then you can choose uh, SSL. All of this you can choose. Edit. And you can put the SEO site description. And you can add editors as well. Okay, as I told you. Let's say you want to add editor. Maybe you can put uh, like myself. Okay, include, then save editor. Okay, then now you go and publish. Okay, you click publish. Publish, then you choose your preferred name. Okay, restaurant MJ. Here you search. Okay, if you want to connect to the restaurant MJ.com, you can choose. You have to pay. Okay, otherwise, you can use the subdomain from Wibly. Choose. Done. Then publish. So your website is ready. So you click. So restaurant MBA Bibli.com. So you can see all of this. So when you click Pepsi, it will go to the Pepsi.com. So when you go to our product, you click drinks. Uh, so orange is here. So if you click grapes, nothing, apple, carrot, pineapple, click orange, it will come, come, come out like this. Okay. Then you can click contact. Okay, contact, you can see the form over here but it's in black color okay you can okay so the problem with the theme so you can choose the theme uh, you can back to light theme for example uh, i go back and i change the theme okay click theme so i change to or i change or i make it light okay light okay then i publish again Every time you edit your page, you have to publish. Okay, now the page is okay. Then you can refresh here, reload. So your page is become a light page. Okay, from the dark page become light page. Okay, home. Okay. So finish. That's it. Okay. Okay. 
so if let's say you cancel all of this then you will back to uh, the main page okay so i have okay one website here which is this one if you want to add more site so you can add more site okay add more site it's not pages eh? it's a site okay one more site you can add okay uh, so another website you can add in this account okay okay so when you log out you just log out here okay sign out okay then you can come back again here bibli.com sign in login Okay. You can come back here. Okay, I use my account. Next. So I log in again. So, this is my website. So, I can restaurantmjbibli.com. Okay. So, I can edit site. Okay. Or if I want to add more website, I can add site here. Similar. Okay. Same thing. So, I want to edit my existing website. Which is my restaurantmj.bibli.com. Okay. So, now I come back and I want to delete all of this. Okay, I don't want. Okay, I delete. I delete this page. So I delete all of this. I delete. Okay. So I can delete. The rest also you can delete one by one. All of this you can delete. Okay. So then you want to change, let's say you want to change to another thing. You can change as well. Uh, maybe you choose uh, this one. Yeah, okay, I choose this theme. Okay, so everything will change except my contents. Contents remain same. Even web pages remain same. Just a team will change. Okay, so again, I need to publish. So my website with the new look. Okay, with the new look: drinks, product, contact, Pepsi, and so on. Okay, then I can play this one. Okay, if I do one, I can click YouTube. Then it will go to YouTube. Okay, thank you very much. That's it. Very quick and simple way of doing your own website without paying any single cent.